Welcome back to another video right here on Free Will Photos. Today, I wanted to show you something that I kind of discovered in the past week or so, and I said, wow, this is amazing. Now, one of the things that I've been asking on one to do was to allow us to export our snapshots. And I think I found a workaround, at least until it becomes a token inside of the export module. So on one, please, if you hear this video or see this video, uh, let's make that a thing. But as you can see, I have a photo here and I've already created a few snapshots. Now, this is the original image, uh, just so that way you can see the drastic change between the snapshots. I'm going to click on edit one and I'm just going to load up that particular edit. Now, I'm going to leave this edit on the image because that's the one, that's the first edit, I like that. But I have two other versions, if you will, that I'm like, hey, you know what? I wanna export those as well. So if I right click on edit two, I get this dialogue menu and at the very bottom, you can see there's a create version from snapshot. Now, when I click this, watch what happens in the film strip down here. It creates a version and you can tell that it's a version with the title of the image and then it says V1. But once the thumbnail actually uploads or buffers, then you'll see that there's going to be a little icon and that's going to tell me that I have a version created as well. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and right click edit number three and do the same thing. Now for many of you, you probably already picked up on where I'm going with this. And essentially all I have to do now is select these three images. So I'll hold down shift and click the last one. I have all three of my images selected and I can just come over here to export. And inside of export, I have all sorts of options. Let me just go ahead and turn off these ones. And I'm going to just do a very basic one. And this is something that I would do for a client delivery if I needed to have multiple versions. Uh, but I think I'm just going to use the, you know what, we'll do the client deliver JPEG because that'll probably be the most recent uh, or the most likely way that I do this. So I'll just rename this version export video. So that way you can kind of see uh, what's happening there. Now I need to choose a destination. I'm going to let it ask me when it is exporting. I'm going to turn off the deliverables because that is something I do again when I am creating client JPEGs um, and I think everything else is fine I'm not gonna create a zip this time and I do want it to show me in the finder so with everything all said and done and in fact I am gonna create a subfolder and I'm just gonna label this versions yeah we'll call it that or better yet Snapshot export. Okay. So now that I have that ready to go, I'm just going to go ahead and click export. And it's going to ask me, do I want to change my settings for client deliver JPEG? The answer to that is no, because I don't want to change those settings. On one is now going to ask me, where do you want to save this? I'm going to go down to my FWP photo drive and I'm going to go to FWP on one tutorial images. I think that's a good place. And this is where I will save these files. So I'm just going to go ahead and open that and I'm going to let on one do its thing. And once it's done, I will show you what that folder looks like. Okay. So on one photo raw has completed all three of those renders and those images are right here. So, if I just pull these down here for a second and I'll select them all, hit my spacebar key, and that way I can just kind of cycle through them, right? So this is the original image, first 
image that had the uh, first edit. And then, of course, we have our second edit. So going between the two, you can just kind of see the difference of what's happening on the face there. Uh, and then the third one, you can really see the color shift. So that is a really quick way of getting three images or all of your snapshots out of on one and getting different versions available to give to your clients whenever they need it. So if you want to do that, you know, you now know how to. If you found this video helpful, then please smash the like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing. And until the next time, I want you to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.